Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, Zambia. Wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Come on, wave your hands and shout hallelujah. Let everything that has breath give God glory. Give God glory. Say neighbor, say neighbor, this is the final session and God has a way of saving the best for the last. He said he kept the best wine until the latter time. I don't know what you missed in the first session. I don't know what you missed in the second session. I don't know what you didn't get in the third session. But in this final session, it will come to you. It will come to you. It will come to you. It shall be good measure. It shall be pressed down. It shall be shaken together. It shall be running over. Shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Shot fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, say neighbor, after this meeting, it is a new season. Everybody whip out your cell phone, whip it out. Whip it out, put on your touch lights. Whip it out, whip it out. Put on your flashlight. Everybody begin to wave it. Let there be light in your destiny. Wave it, wave it. Wave it, wave it. Come on, Lusaka, wave it. Let there be light over your affairs. Let there be light in your marriage. Let there be light in your ministry. Let there be light in your family. Let there be light in your business. Let there be light in your career. Let there be light in your health let there be light i command light i command light in your finance i command light in your health wave it lusaka wave it wave it hallelujah you are moving to the light no more darkness no more darkness Somebody said no more darkness. Say no more darkness. Let there be light in my father's house. Let there be light in my destiny. Let there be light. Shut yeah. Shut yeah. Shut yeah. Shut yes, 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 yes. meeting was put together so that after now there will be light in your life hey there is a light that shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it every darkness that has covered you after this meeting it is run away it is run away it is run away in genesis in chapter number one it says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and the earth was without form and there was darkness upon the face of the deep but the bible says the spirit of god began to hover like he's hovering now over the woodland the holy ghost began to hover like he's hovering now over lusaka and the lord said and the lord said and the lord said and the lord said 
said and the Lord said and the Lord said let there be light hallelujah listen it says whatever he tells you to do do it this is the final instruction that the Lord will have you to do today I want every one of you how many of you you watch wonders without numbers wave it let me see wave it listen to me wonders without numbers is a movement a prayer movement that God is using to take territories a man of God said to me a great man of God in this city he said I hold the morning prayer every day all I do I copy all the prayers from wonders without numbers and I repeat them on my prayer line he says and there are testimonies listen wonders without number is a movement and I want every one of us as you are hearing me now open to your YouTube open your YouTube everybody open your YouTube Lord as many as are receiving this information may they have good news in their life please listen we need to spread the gospel tell somebody spread the gospel come and say spread the gospel now listen to me anytime you watch wonders without numbers you must leave a like you must leave a comment all of these things will help us drive the gospel to the nations of the earth whenever you are watching it make sure you are you are leaving comments and you are sharing but everybody open your youtube now and i want you to connect with our father in the lord if you are truly going to connect with papa it is hard to connect with him because he is ever traveling so one way to make sure you never miss any of his broadcast one way to make sure hallelujah one way to make sure is to make sure you are subscribed to our official youtube channel so please quickly on youtube go to celebration tv everybody do that now celebration tv search on youtube c e l e b r a t i o n please search that out quickly celebration tv c e l e b r a t i o n tv please search that out and then subscribe subscribe push the subscribe button do that very quickly once you do that there is a bell icon please don't just watch me do what i'm asking you to do you are literally evangelizing are we together now whenever you are doing this you are helping us reach the nations how many believe the gospel must go to the nations yes so please subscribe that is our official youtube channel do that and then i want you to go ahead and push the bell button there is a bell icon please push that bell when you push that bell it will give you options push all all once you push the bell icon the next thing you should do is push all push all have you done that have you done that say yes if you have done it all right now one final thing how many of you and you do you know that we have our own social media platform so uh, earlier this year our father and the lord unveiled our own official social media platform it is called hostgram somebody say hostgram say hostgram now please this platform is for every omega child this is where we connect with our father it is our own platform because now it is just like facebook like TikTok, like instagram like you know i like twitter so please uh if you will go to your play store if you have an android phone or you go to your apple store if you have an, uh, an iphone please search hostgram it is spelled h-o-s G R O A M H as in Hillary, O as in Oscar, uh, S as in Sam, G as in George, R O as in Romeo, A as in Alpha, M as in Mary, Horsegram. Please download it. When you download it, 
you will have to you know uh, fill out the form enter your information do that very quickly make sure you put a valid email address make sure you do that the lord bless you and had spanner called dislocation and since then he could not stand straight he's been in pain this morning as god somebody was ministry the power of god descended upon him to the glory of god the pain disappeared he stood up and started walking straight look at him doing what he could not do before somebody shout jesus Eva, Mrs. Eva Mudenda, Mudenda, Hallelujah, from Zimbabwe, shall testify. She said she was in Papa's meeting in 2017 at South Africa. By the Spirit of God, God's servant measure her name by prophecy. And spoke to her and said to her, God is visiting your business. He said, people don't identify with you now. They don't, they don't record with you because you don't have evidence. But Papa said that God is internationalizing his, her business. She was surprised after that prophecy. In less than two months, God gave her international breakthrough. She said she, she went for the first time, traveled to America. She did not travel to Europe, not Africa country. He said the first door that God gave her, the first open door was America. He said she goes to America and come back every month. She's here to return the glory to Jesus. God has given her a turn around in business. If you are believing God for testimony, shout Jesus! <laughs> Hallelujah! Grace Chanda from Kamala. Hallelujah! I said, Hallelujah! She's. She, She's here to appreciate God for deliverance. Few months ago, she stepped on charm. Stepped on the charm and her legs began to peel. She started going rotty. Am I correct? Her, leg, her two legs started going rotty. She said she could not walk. She could no longer go out. One day, but she was connected to Celebration TV. She said one day, she was watching Wonders Without Number. Right where she was sitting in the house, Papa measured her name and measured the case. And said, measure her name and said, you step on the charm. You are watching this program. Papa prayed for her through the screen. She connected. That was the end of that affliction. That was the end of the affliction. The champ disappeared. Somebody shout Jesus. Mavis Chola. Shall testify. Before Papa visited. Zambia in 2014. How many of us were in, we are in that program? The boss threatened her that month before Papa came, her boss in the office threatened to fire her. And she was scared. As a matter of fact, the boss told her that that month, at the end of the month, she should be expecting her letter of termination of job. That same month, God's oracle visited Zambia. She said she was in the program. Papa located her by prophecy. And Papa, Papa addressed the case. 
And Papa said, you will not only stay in that office and remove your boss. To the glory of God, she said after the program, the next week, she went to work. The first day, she, the boss received a letter from the head office that he has been dismissed. He said, true her testimony. He said, some of her colleagues, it was that testimony that brought them to Omega. She is here to return the glory to Jesus. Somebody shout Jesus! Teresa Mwale from Bwale. Amen. She owned a driving school. She said for three years now, nothing has been happening. And she was, she was thinking of contemplating or closing the business. But yesterday, she was in the meeting. While Papa was praying, Papa released an anointing, the anointing for favor. She got connected. She said she was surprised. This morning, Papa was still talking about favor. She started receiving calls. Customers are coming. The kind of people that she has never that has never come to her before. She was telling them that she's in the program. They waited for her. After the money session, she got back to the her office and attended to them. While she was still getting ready for this evening session, they started calling her again that they are waiting for her in the office. So she is here to return the glory to Jesus for giving her a turnaround in business. If you are believing God for your own testimony, stand on your feet and give the Lord a shout! Oh, hallelujah. Hey, 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 hey. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty shout. Glory to God. Now lift your hands and just say, Lord, we give you glory. For all these testimonies. Wherever you are, in all the grandstands, everyone lift your hands and say, Lord, we give you glory. Jesus, we give you glory. We give you glory. I am next in line for a miracle. For a testimony, for a breakthrough, for a mighty turnaround. Now go ahead and just turn that to prayer. Now pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Allah to grasta banazo. Allah do bregete se de bregete ye de de bre de 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 bragado that is a superadayata. we bless your name and we love you jesus we love you we love you master pray in the spirit lalo shada Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have turned our lamb, could rescue the souls of men. 
Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Counselor, comforter, teacher. Spirit we long to embrace. And you are far up when our hearts have hopelessly lost the way. Oh, we hopelessly lost the way. Almighty, infinite Father, you faithfully love in your own. Yet in our weakness, you find us falling before your throne. Oh, we fall in before your truth. And you are the one that we praise. You are the one we adore. You gave the healing and grace. Hearts always on the Oh, our hearts always on the Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Clap your hands, everybody, and take your seat. Clap your hands, clap your hands. My God. Mm. Is, has somebody been blessed all through this meeting? One of the things you must contact tonight is the fire to pray. The fire to pray will fall upon you. John 11 verse 40. Kakiti Adada. Uzuzu Onegadia. Epelero Atatia. Wazu Enega Ogo Bimbo Gudaya. Something is about to happen in the heavens. While I was praying, the Lord told me that tonight the balloon of miracles will burst. Everyone that has fought you in life, heaven is about to respond on your behalf. Amen. Take your seat now. John 11 verse 40, it says, Jesus said unto her, said I not unto thee, if thou wouldest believe, Thou shouldest see the glory of God. Somebody said the glory of God. That's what is about to hit somebody where you are sitting. The glory of God is about to hit you where you are sitting. The glory of God is about to hit you where you are. I see the glory of God coming on your life. I see the glory of God coming on your family. Somebody shout glory. I'm talking of the glory. The glory of God. Take your seat. The story where we call this from is about a man called Lazarus. Lazarus and the two sisters, Mary and Martha. Martha was a woman with many matters. And, and that one of them we are friends to Jesus. And Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick. And Jesus stayed two more days. From two more days, stayed four more days. Now it was four days till Lazarus died. Now, that didn't sound too good to me. How would you hear Lazarus is sick and you waited for four days till he died? What kind of Jesus is this? That is sound nice. And I asked Jesus, I said, why would you wait for four days till he died? Because I think, I think it is easier to heal the sick than to raise the dead. Why would you complicate your problem? And the Lord told me, 
He said, I did it for a purpose. I asked him why. And the Lord began to tell me, he said, because when Jarius' daughter came back to life, people said they needed to see the death certificate. They said because she actually did not die, she was in coma. So Jesus prayed for someone who was called the widow of Nain. The son came back to life, people said that's not true. But we are not there. He fainted. So when Jesus heard that Lazarus was sick, he waited. Lazarus died, he waited. Lazarus was buried, he waited. He was saying, let me see who will argue this one. Let me see who will argue this one. Do you know why it appears God is taking time on your case? He wants everybody to know about your battles. So that when God changes your story, no one can say that we are not aware. When God changes your story, no one can argue the result. Now they see you broke. Now they see you poor. Now they see you stranded. And God is watching. Because when heaven shows up, no one can argue. No one can deny. What shall you imagine against the Lord? For affliction shall not rise a second time. Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the world, neither fainted, nor is he weary? For there's no searching, there is understanding. He giveth power unto the faint. The young man may fall, the youth may utterly fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not go weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lift your wind, shout fire. I like. Hear me well. I like the Holy Ghost. I like the move of God. In Acts chapter 1. He said his bishopric. Let another take. In Acts chapter 2. They gathered in the upper room. And the Holy Ghost fell. When they received the Holy Ghost. In Acts chapter 3. They began to experiment. The Holy Ghost they have received. And they saw a man. By the gate of beautiful. And they brought him up. By reason of that miracle. In Acts chapter 4. They were arrested. In Acts chapter 5. The Bible says. There was a move of God. And God came. Upon a man. Called Peter. And he released judgment. Upon someone. Called Ananias. And Sapphira. Because of the increase. In Acts chapter 6. They said let's gather deacons. And we will give ourselves to prayer. In Acts chapter 7. A man called Stephen, filled of the Holy Ghost, but the Bible says he was stoned to death because he was stoned to death in Acts chapter 8 a man called Philip said you killed Stephen because you could see him, but as for me I will disappear am I talking there? hear me now when Stephen Philip disappeared in Acts chapter 9. A man called Paul on his way to Damascus encountered God in Acts chapter 10. A man called Cornelius, filled with the spirit, visited by an angel, and he said, Send for Peter. And Peter came in Acts chapter 11 for the first time. The disciples were called Christians in Acts chapter 12. Peter was put in prison and prayer was made for him. And the Lord brought him out in Acts chapter 13. Separate me, Paul and Barnabas, for the work I've called them to do. In Acts chapter 14, when they go to Iconium, they saw a man lame from bed and they brought him up. He began to walk in Acts chapter 15. My Bible says they sat down to teach on the circumcision. In Acts chapter 16, a lady called Lydia got the visitation of God. In Acts chapter 17, the burial Christian, we are more noble than the Christians in Thessalonica. In Acts chapter 18, a man called Apollos was mighty in the world. In 
in Acts chapter 19 anchor chiefs were taken from the body of Paul and evil spirits left them in Acts chapter 20 as Paul was preaching a man called you Titus fell off the window Paul brought him to life in Acts chapter 21 a prophet called Agabus carried the garment of Paul and fastened on himself in Acts chapter 22 Paul began to give a testimony of his encounter with God in Acts chapter 23 certain Jews gathered themselves together that they would not eat or drink until they keep Paul in Acts chapter 24 Paul appeared before governor Festus in Acts 25 before governor Philip in Acts 26 before King Agrippa in Acts 27 on his way to Italy in Acts 28 which is the last chapter a viper came and fastened itself on his arm and Paul shook the viper and he fell into the fire somebody shot fire yeah, yeah, yeah. fire yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody shout glory. glory. Shout glory. glory. There are people that look down on you now because they don't see what you carry. The Bible said there were certain men, they were called wise men. They were called wise men in the Bible, in the book of Matthew chapter 2, because they saw the star in the child. They didn't see the child, they saw the star. They didn't see the condition, they saw the destination. Anyone looking down on you now is not wise. Anyone looking down on you, he said they call them wise men because they saw a destiny, they saw a greatness. They rejoice not over me, oh mine enemies. For if I fall, I will rise. When I sit in darkness, God shall be my light. Tell five people, glory, 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 glory. Take your seat. Take your seat. In Job chapter 29, verse 20, the, the Bible said that glory was fresh in me. In Psalm chapter 3, from verse 1 to verse 3, the Bible said, why are they increased that trouble me? They said there is no hope for him in his God. He said, but thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory and the lifter of my head. In Psalm 84, verse 11, he said, the Lord God is a son and a shield. He will give grace and glory. And no good thing will live withhold from them that walk it uprightly. Somebody shall glory. In John chapter 2 verse 11. The Bible said this beginning of miracles. Did Jesus in Cana of Galilee. And manifested forth his glory. And his disciples believed on him. Somebody shall glory. In Psalm 63. From verse 1 to verse 2. He says oh God thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. For my soul tested for thee. And my flesh longed for thee. In a dry and thirsty land. Where no water is. To see thy power. And thy glory. As I have seen thee in the sanctuary. Somebody shout glory. What is glory? Glory. Is the central bank of heaven. The Bible says in Philippians 4.19. My God shall supply all your needs. According to his riches where? Glory is the, is the zenith of life. Glory is the apex of existence. When a man dies. They say he has been called glory what is glory glory is the overloaded weight of god's power the overloaded weight glory is the palpable touchable feelable holdable seizable i repeat glory is the palpable touchable holdable seizable tangible presence of god 
glory is when celestiality surmounts terrestriality. Glory. Glory is the full manifestation of the multifaceted, multivariedness of divinity. Is the full manifestation of the multifacetedness, multivariedness of divinity. What is glory? What is glory? Glory is the forceful catalyst that eradicates affliction. What is glory? What is glory? Can I go on? Glory is celestial emergencies that trigger terrestrial urgency. Celestial emergency that triggers, that means it is when God comes in a hurry and that sparks up a mortal man and sets him on track. You can have glory and be irrelevant. Hear me, Moses was three months old when he got his mother a job. Moses was three months old when he hired his mother, employed his mother, and was paying his mother for taking care of him. And you are 55, and your family has not eaten your money. God punish the devil. I prophesy upon you today, as you hear the sound of my voice, your family will feel your impact. Your generation will feel your impact. Zambia will feel your impact. Sadek will feel your impact. South Africa we feel your impact. Botswana we feel your impact. Malawi we feel your impact. Lesotho we feel your impact. Namibia we feel your impact. Swaziland we feel your impact. Zimbabwe we feel your impact. I said that 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 we feel your impact. You don't serve that dead cat. You serve a mighty God. He is the same yesterday. He is the same today. He is the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. God 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 is on your side. Power is on your side. Glory is on your side. Somebody shall fire. Take your seat. Take your seat. You say, Apostle, listen, there are so many of you. Hear me? Alaboko Shahata. Hear me? There are some of you who are saying to yourself, Apostle, you don't understand. I've been through a lot in life, I've been through a lot in family. You say, Apostle, I've lost so much. But I want you to know that God lost angels. God lost angels and he is still God. You see, when people steal from you, don't feel bad. 
It means you have grown to a point that you have so much that you have what somebody can take. Lazarus died and was rotting. When Jesus came, don't forget, if you read John 11, if you start from verse 2, the Bible says Lazarus' sister was that woman called Mary that anointed Jesus' feet with an alabaster box of perfume. You remember? Of fragrance. So when, when Jesus said, roll away the stone, that same woman said, Lord, by this time, he's thinking. By this time, you can't stand the stench. And Jesus was looking at her. I'm sure in Jesus' mind, Jesus was saying, if only you know the aroma that came from that perfume, it is stronger than the stench from this grave. The solution is older than the problem. The solution is older than the problem. Before sickness, healing was. That's what the Bible said, by stripe they were healed. Not they are healed. You will not be healed, you have been healed. Before, oh my God, oh my God. The provision was made before the affliction came. The provision was made before the affliction came. So by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the force of grace, everyone under the sound of my voice, who is under the yoke of affliction, under the yoke of disease, under the yoke of pain, under the yoke of infirmity, I don't know what the doctor called it. I don't know what they called it in the hospital. I don't know the name of that sickness. But right now you will see the glory of God. You will see the power of God. You will see the power of God. You will see the power of God. Somebody shout glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Take your seat. Now look at this. Look at what she said. That lady, proud to the scripture we read, said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. If you, Jesus, had been here, my brother would not have died. What was she saying? If your presence had been here, we would not have suffered. So you cannot talk of glory without presence. The glory is the presence. The pre you need the tangible presence whatever listen to this whatever cannot stand god's presence should not stand god's people whatever cannot stand his presence should not stand his people you can't carry god and carry cancer you can't be carrying the bible and be carrying sickness that is a satanic nonsensic arrangement That you are carrying the Bible and you are carrying an infirmity. That you are carrying God's word and you are carrying Satan's deposit. The presence. Psalm 16, 11, That will show me the path of life. For in thy presence there's fullness. Job chapter 1 verse 10. Job chapter 2 verse 7. He said, and Satan left the presence of God. Anytime there's an affliction, it's because there's a departure. He said, and I afflicted Job from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. Anytime there's an affliction, it is sole of the feet to the crown of the head. Because the affliction comes from the devil who is under your feet. So it comes from the sole of your feet because that's where the devil belongs. To the crown of your head. When there is healing, it's from the crown of your head. Because God is above to the sole of your feet. The presence. In Psalm 51, 11, He said, cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit. Genesis 4, 16 tells us how Cain left the presence. In Isaiah 63, 9, verse 8 and 9, He said, the angel of his presence saved us. In Acts 3.19, he said, a time of refreshing shall come from the presence of God. He said, if thou canst believe, thou shalt see the glory. Why? At that point, listen to me. There are so many of you, I need to explain this. Because when you are going through battles of life, sometimes you get discouraged. Sometimes you are asking yourself a question. 
Sometimes you are worried. You say, I'll come for, for, for five years, for seven years. I don't have a baby. I'm waiting for a child. Why? The truth is VIPs don't come early. Wherever you see Samuel, ask him. VIPs, you have to wait for them. Children of value and honor, you expect them. They come in very proud and very bold. You have to wait for them to come. So when you don't have a child now, don't weep. The truth is when you begin to understand who you are, you begin to understand, listen, the devil, the devil has no time to attack a nobody. Satan is too organized. When the devil sits on your case, it's because there's something he has seen in you. And God will now take you through different seasons and stages of life different stages so you are going through battle now because there's something of value that you carry there's something of value that you carry Lazarus died and was buried if someone died and was buried and was rotten if you st if you're a student of science you will know a man four days in the grave has got into what we call decomposition process he has gotten rotten with maggots coming out of his body but my jesus visited that case and brought the man back to life he was rotten but jesus and you are here and the doctor said something and you believe what the doctor said you believe what the doctor told you you are in this place since yesterday you have seen miracle blind see lame walk dead rise and the devil told you that you can't get a testimony that devil is a liar wherever you are a miracle is coming on you now a breakthrough is coming on you now if you came with a walking aid, raise that walking aid and walk. If you came paralyzed, begin to walk. If you came crippled, you can walk now. Whatever the battle may be, you are healed now. There's a miracle coming upon your life. The glory of God is here. The glory of God is here. The glory is here. It doesn't matter where they brought you from. Jesus brought someone who was rotten dead and buried brought him back so what did the doctor tell you what is your condition tonight my god is a god that specializes in hopeless cases is a specialist in hopeless cases hopeless cases one of our crusades a lady brought the child that was crippled they were beggars she she moves the child to beg Will's the child. He has never walked all his life. And the boy was about 11 or 12. Never walked all his life. And the woman saw a crowd like this. She was like, oh, this would be a good opportunity. She brought the, ch the child, kept the child at the gate. Hold on, calm down. Kept the child at the gate to ask for arms, for money. So people going to the crusade were dropping money. So she was with the child there. And she had people shouting, I can see, I can walk, miracle. So she moved forward. To look at what was happening she got impressed she moved forward again she moved forward again the child was at the gate crippled we had she wheels the child she kept moving forward and things were happening so after about 10 minutes she decided to run back to the child the child was not there she was worried oh. now the child was not there but the wheel that wheels the child was there it was empty so she was worried. Oh, they stole my child. They stole my child. They stole my child. They stole. And she was worried. The next thing she saw was that they, they had carried the child on the stage and the child was walking. Oh. And I said to them, what happened? They said they saw the child suddenly come down and was walking and walking. And they asked him, well, what's going on? He said, I could not walk. So they carried him and brought him forward. And they began to take, that is the Jesus I came to talk to you about. <laughs> that is the Jesus that's in Lusaka. Oh. I was ministering and I said to the people, I said, when coming tomorrow, bring the blind, bring the deaf, bring the dumb. And they said, okay. The next day, a young girl went to the mortuary and brought her brother that was dead. 
Now, I didn't say bring the dead. So, when they told me, I said, sir, there's someone here. I said, no problem. They said, the person is dead. I said, what do you mean? I didn't say bring the dead. I said, bring the blind, bring the deaf, and the dumb. And the pastor said to me, it's true. He's dead. So, he's blind, he's deaf, and he's dumb. Oh. <laughs> And I said to them, what kind of trouble is this? And I kept on praying. And they opened the coffin. The person was lying down. The coffin was open. So I made sure I avoided that area. And I just kept on preaching. As I was preaching, they were praying. They were kicking the coffin. It kicking the... I said, what kind of bad boys are these ones? Just pray. Leave the coffin alone. I'm praying and praying. As I was praying, the next thing, people were shouting. I knew it was not what I was saying that they were shouting about. Because they kept on shouting. Even when I was saying, amen, they were still shouting. I said, no, there's something happening here. Now they shouted, all eyes turned towards the back. I said, what is going on here? And the next I saw them raising the coffin. Empty. The young man had come out of it. Oh. That is the Jesus. Hey. Some years ago, we were in Lagos preaching for Dr. Fidelis in the a gymnasium hall. And I said to them on television, I said, I said it casually. I was about to go. And somebody was screaming. His short leg had grown out. There were miracles everywhere. So I said, in case anybody here, okay, I prayed on the photograph of a young man who had somebody that died. While I was praying, I said, you should expect a call. I was still praying. He got a call. That the person had come back to life. So when that happened, and I said, anywhere you are, if you are watching by television, if you have anyone that died, believe God, I said it casually. I wasn't serious. Because I was tired and needed to go. There's a part of my country called Kogi State. And two young guys watching the program in their phone ran to the mortuary where their grandmother was kept. Old woman, let her rest. 79, let her rest. And they said to the woman, they said to the, the, the man in charge of the, the, the undertaker that they want to put the phone on their mother. The guy said, get out of here. What's wrong with you guys? He said, we believe as this man is praying. I was tired. And I was just praying casually. They allowed them in and they put the phone on their mother. And they went out and they were praying outside. And the man keeping the corpse called them and said, the woman's hands are moving. Now, I had left the crusade when I was getting calls that Celebration TV said they called the church line and the whole place was upside down. They were screaming that she had come back to life. Listen to me. It was not my fate. I was tired. Oh. It was Jesus. Oh. If thou come believe now we see the glory of God. Hopeless. How hopeless is your situation? How hopeless and helpless and shapeless. You must know who you are. Jesus knew he had authority over life and death. He had authority. John the Baptist said, are you the one or should we expect another? John the Baptist never knew who he was. John the Baptist was expecting Jesus to come bring him out of prison. And Jesus was expecting John to walk out of prison. That is why when the disciples of John left, Jesus asked them, do you know who John was? Of all born of women, there is no one great like John the Baptist. Meaning John the Baptist was greater than Abraham. John the Baptist was greater than Isaac, than Jacob, than Moses. But he never knew what he carried. That was why when the children of Israel confronted Goliath, Goliath swallowed them up. Because Goliath came and looked at all of them and said, you all are servants of Saul. So long they saw themselves as the servants of Saul, what conquered Saul conquered them.
So long they saw themselves as the servants of Saul, what swallowed Saul swallowed them up. So long they saw themselves as the servants of Saul, what summarized Saul summarized them up. But when David came, David said, I am the armies of the living God. I am not a servant of Saul. So what swallowed my brothers can swallow me. There is an anointing in this place. He said there is a spirit in man and inspiration of the Almighty. Give it him understanding. I make a declaration right now as you hear the sound of my voice by the glory of God hopeless situations are turning around everyone in life has got to go through three stages and those three stages speaks of the gifts that were given to Jesus at birth there is the first stage you go through is called the stage of mar the stage of mar mar is a gum is bitter and you go to another stage called frankincense you go to a stage called gold but when you start life when God gives you gifts and talents and opportunities it makes you go to number one frankincense frankincense is that allure that aroma that allure you get from a perfume that smell when you are going to frankincense you attract all kinds of people you attract the good and the bad you attract people that don't like you you attract people that don't care about you you attract people that are just using you you attract people that don't really believe in you you attract people that only want to see what becomes of your life is the stage of frankincense and when you go through that stage the next stage is called my that is the stage of bitterness now God wants you to go through my so that it can remove some people from your life it can take away the bad people it can take away those that might destroy you because after my you are entering gold it doesn't want you to enter gold with the wrong people it doesn't want you to enter gold with those who don't care about you am I communicating right now we get to that point where we begin to understand that it takes the light of God's word when Jesus showed up at the tomb of Lazarus light had shown up hear me child of God it is your light that determines your flight in Psalm 36 verse 9 he said with thee O Lord is the fountain of light for in thy light shall we see light in Ecclesiastes 11 verse 7 he said truly light is sweet for it's a good thing for the eyes to behold the sun in Ecclesiastes 2 verse 13 he said light overwhelmed darkness as darkness overwhelmed evil the Bible says in Job 3 verse 20 he said that he giveth light to them that are in misery in John chapter 1 from 1 to 12 he said the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God the same was with him in the beginning all things were made by him without him was not anything made that was made in him was light and the light was the life of man the light shineth in darkness and darkness overcome it not there was a man sent from God whose name was John he came to bear witness of the light but he was not the light he said this is that true light that lighteneth every man that cometh into the world he came to his own his own received him not his own believed on him not he said but as many as received him to them gave it power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name not of the will of the flesh but of the will of the father and the world was made flesh and dwelt among men and we beheld the glory of the father full of grace and of truth I'm talking of the light of God's word the Bible says in Psalm 104 and verse 2 that he covered himself with light as with a garment the Bible says in Exodus 10 23 he said the children of Israel had light in their dwelling there is power in light the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130 the entrance of thy word give it light and understanding to the simple the Bible says in Genesis 1 verse 3 and God said let there be light Light. and there was light the Bible says in Psalm 27 verse 1 the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear am I talking to somebody the Bible says in Psalm 34 verse 5 they look up to him and their faces were lightened and they were not ashamed the Bible says 
in Proverbs 4 18 the path of the just is like a shiny light that shine more and more unto a perfect day the Bible says in John chapter 8 verse 12 I am the light of the world he that followeth me shall not walk in darkness for shall have the light of life the Bible says in first John 1 5 God is light and in him there's no darkness at all the Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 11 he says the entrance of thy world give a light I'm talking of the light of God as you hear the sound of my voice let your light shine the Bible says in Isaiah 60 verse 1 arise shine the light is come and the glory of God the glory of God the glory of God is risen upon you you don't serve a dead God you serve a mighty God he's the same yesterday he's the same today he's the same forever when God says yes no man can say no when God lifts you up no man can bring you down God is on your side power is on your side glory is on your side favor is on your side grace is on your side God is on your side God is on your side somebody shot fire somebody shot fire somebody shot fire yeah 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 somebody shot fire yeah 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 Somebody say the glory of God. The glory of God. All the miracles we've seen since yesterday. Oh. The opening of the eyes of the blind. The lame walking. Dead babies coming to life. Oh. Bones mended. Oh. All kinds of miracle oh. is a functionality of the glory. If thou can believe. As I'm talking now, it's happening. Amen. Oh. There's a wave of glory. Is happening. The glory. If you can't walk, you came here paralyzed. What are you waiting for? This is your moment. Seize it. Seize the opportunity. Raise that crutches. Help the people. Help those falling down all over the place. Help those falling down all over the place. Raise the crutches, raise the walking aid, and start walking out. Stand up the wheelchair. You came paralyzed. Walk now. All over the place. All over. Rise up. Rise up. Rise. If you're blind, your eyes are opening. There is glory here. There's a miracle there. There's a miracle there. Witchcraft will expire tonight. There's a miracle there. Papa, this is a miracle. Is that a wheelchair? A walking aid? Papa, Whose walking aid is that? Already. Another one here. Help them years. there. This lady was happy. This man was blind and paralyzed for nine years. Blind and paralyzed. For nine years. For and nine years. Papa he could not walk and could not see. Blind and paralyzed. For nine years. But now he can see and can walk. But now he can see and walk. By the glory Another of miracle God. there again. This lady, what happened? Two months. Could not walk. Papa. Eh? This one was completely paralyzed. Another paralyzed. For one month. Who has this oxygen? 
Who has his oxygen? Who has his oxygen? My God! My God! My God! Look at this! They came with an oxygen tank! They came with an oxygen tank! On oxygen for two years! On oxygen! For two years! For two years! For two years! For two years! She was a, she's been on oxygen for two years! Oxygen! After you prayed! Papa, she could not also stand! She could not stand also! For two years! Where are you from? Well, she's my patient. Who are you? I, I'm a nurse from UTH. You are a nurse? Yes. Hey! Oh! Glory! Papa! Glory. Papa, the nurse saw her vibrating. She quickly removed the oxygen. What is that? Thank you, Jesus. What is happening tonight? Is that. Papa, Papa, in the morning, during the morning service, this child could not stand at all with this leg. This two legs were lifeless. That child is standing now. Papa, this child is standing. Two legs were lifeless. Look at the child. Look awesome. at the child. Awesome. Zambia! If thou can believe, if thou can believe, if thou can believe, thou will see the glory of God. What is that? Receive a miracle, bro. What is this problem? This way. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Help him, help him, help him, help him. Touch. Let him be free. You know, I feel, I feel fire on my hands. Who wants it there? Do you want it? Hold hands together. Hold hands. There, there. Hold, lift it up. All over. Hold hands, lift it up. Do you want it? At the count of five. At the count of five. The glory of God. Come upon these people. Let them heal the sick. Let them raise the dead. Let them walk miracles. One. Two. Three. Four, five, take! Take it! Glory! Papa, Papa, it's another miracle! This man was carried here! He was carried! He was Look at him walking! For 12 years. Look at him walking! 12 years paralyzing! Paralyzed for 12 years! 12 years paralyzing God! Paralyzed for By 12 years! The power of God! He was paralyzed for 12 years! Paralyzed for 12 years! That's why he was carried here! Carried here! He was carried here! Zambia! I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I'm walking in power, walking in power, miracles. Walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I'm walking in power, walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of favor. I'm walking in power, walking in power, walking in miracles. I'm walking in power, walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of freedom. I'm walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of freedom. I'm walking in power, walking in power, walking in miracles. I live a life of freedom. I'm walking in power. Walk in in power. in power. in Look at that. Who's that running? Who's that lady bouncing? We have lost count of miracles in this meeting. 
We have lost count of miracles. Pastor, there is a lady here that they are crowding. Pastors are crowding Papa, the lady. She had a spinal cord injury for the past four years. But while you minister the power of God, the glory of God came upon her. She can run. Now run. Run. Miracle money already. It's, it's just a sick miracle alert from Onosos. Miracle money. Yes, sir. Bring out your phone. Walking in power. Ah, walking, walking in miracles. I live the life of it. Oh. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't I'm matter what you see now. See his love. I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. See his love. I know who I am. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 I do. Angels of God, you are interested in the economy of man. Right now, receive me, recommend it. Let the angels of the Lord visit you. Let the heavens open on you financially. Receive miracle money in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let God glorify himself in your life in the name of Jesus. It is done. It is done. Check it now. There are miracles... There are miracles that God is giving to people even watching via the airwaves. In your homes. In your businesses. God is going to give you a mighty turnaround. You are entering an uncommon season. We, had, we have had over 20 paralyzed people healed in this meeting. Over 20. Oh my but, but, God. Miracle man just hit somebody on account. After you prayed now. Why is, this, why is the Bible on your head? You are surprised? He's surprised, Papa. Miracle money everywhere. Miracle money everywhere. He said so fast. Another one. Papa, another miracle money. Another one. All over the place. Let there be a visitation. Who is this man that's running? Who is this man that's, who is this man that's running? What happened to him? Those of you they brought from the hospitals, paralyzed, unable to walk. People are standing from their wheelchairs. People are throwing away their crutches. It's your turn. Receive a miracle! Hold on. I just saw somebody who has two children. One is five. One is seven. And both of them are mad. Right now, their senses are restored to them. Who is Prudence? If your name is Prudence, come here. Kakoti, Kakoti, Kakoti. Kakoti. Papa, another miracle alert. Another miracle money. Another miracle money. Ndola, Prudence from Ndola. One thousand quarter from Ndola. From no source. From Mundola. Huh? Papa, she's the one. What's her name? Prudence Katoti, sir. From where? From Mundola. Miracle money there. Lady, I see the glory of Jesus overwhelming you. Heaven is going to surprise you. Look at this. I saw you just wrote a letter. It's like I see you in a place, I see uniforms. Yes, sir. But you are not wearing uniform. No, sir. But you are in a place that is like 
Air Force. Yes, sir. Zambia Air Force, sir. Power! Yes, sir. But, yes. I'm, but I'm not seeing you wearing uniform. No, sir. But what does that mean? I'm a civilian, sir. You're a civilian working with the Air Force? Yes, sir. Okay. But with this letter, I'm seeing you just wrote a, a, a letter. A resignation letter, sir. A resignation? Yes, sir. Now, I want to pray for you. Because the decision you took is a good one. Because what I saw, I saw the blessings of God upon your life. I'm seeing the work of your hand. I'm seeing flowers. I'm seeing sugar. I'm seeing baking. Yeah, I'm baking, sir. I'm a catcher. The glory of God is going to visit you. And lady, the spirit of the Lord tells me to tell you. It's a new season. Who's Patrick? Brother Patrick, <laughs> huh? I'm the father. My name is Patrick. I'm the church administrator, Omega Fire Ministries. Dollar. Oh, you, I'm talking to you. <laughs> you, woman, who is Patrick? There's my father, and there's my junior brother. He's also Patrick. Are you the one? Oh, your junior brother is Patrick. Patrick Who is Nancy? My senior sister. <laughs> Wait, who is in not to in not? To? In not to. Wait, why am I hearing Violet? Is there somebody here called Violet? Is there anybody? Chipata. You are from Chipata. Violet. What's going on? Miracle money. This brother just received 3,000 kwacha. Papa, another miracle money. He just received 6,000 kwacha. Listen. If you argue, if you don't believe miracle money, no problem. Take miracle poverty. There are people who argue. Listen. There are people. Wait. There are people that argue. They say, oh. They say, oh. What do you want? Papa, another one. 300 quarter. You want me to pray for you? Hold your hands together. Hold your hands. Hold hands, hold hands. Listen. Make sure you, you, make sure you guard this anointing. Hold hands together. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready there? Are you ready there? Like the day of Pentecost. At the count of three. Spirit of God. Take from me. Impact on their life. One. Two. Three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Hey. Hey. I attack witchcraft. I attack witchcraft. The Lord told me that this final session as you attack witchcraft. Anything I say, you will scream, come out by fire. Spiritual husband, come out by fire. Spiritual wife, come out by fire. Marine spirits, come out by fire. Barrenness, come out by fire. Spirits of disappointment, come out by fire. Eating in the dream, come out by fire. Pollution in the dream, come out by fire. That's it, come out by fire. Every form of demonic possession. Yeah. Papa angels are still depositing money in people's account. This brother just received miracle money of 50,000 kwacha. 50,000. 50,000. 50, yes, sir. Another person, 560 listen, kwacha. Listen. I, I'm seeing someone in the realm of the spirit who was saying 
who was chained here and brought shut up shut up go down drop her down I, i'm seeing somebody who was chained you have a mental case chain but god says that your senses have just been restored there's a lady i just saw your womb this is 12 years purity your name is purity and your womb has been blocked for 12 years the enemy said you can have a child i see god giving you a set of twins right where you are i know we have over over 2000 pastors here i want you to know pastors that everything you've seen happen for the past four meetings will become a regular occurrence in your ministry all of you pastors where, where are my where are my where are my sons and daughters sop come come here come here papa this is amazing papa sir this sister is a nurse she said in february this year sop come come she applied for a job in uk where, she, where, where, uh, where? papa this way Which your way? left yes sir okay if, papa, in february in february uh -huh. and there was no response she applied for a job in uk yes sir. in uk yes sir and there was no response yes, sir. so she forgot about it she forgot about it i started believing god for a job here after you pray she just received a letter of a job confirmation from UK. Now, look at the letter. Where's the letter? Yes, that's that letter. Media, media. Are you just looking like that? Zambia. Listen, I'm talking. Watch the screen. There are many of you who are coming out who are not SOP. The anointing of God cannot fall on you when you are deceitful. Papa, look at it on the screen. The anointing of God cannot come when you are deceitful. That's the letter there. This is the letter. Letter of confirmation of now, job. the anointing of God. Listen, if you are not an SOP, step back. I'll pray with you, but just step back. Only the SOP for now. SOP are the sons and daughters of the prophet, general overseers who have their own ministry, who are submitting directly to me. That's what SOP means. There are some from Botswana, some from Malawi, many from South Africa and all. So others, step aside. Now, I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you. I did an impartation on the pastors in the first session. Now, I want to pray for the SOP. Are these SOPs? Okay. I'd like you to, for now, please, if you have your anointing oil, don't open it. Don't cover it so it doesn't splash on somebody hold your hands together let me ask for grace upon you cover the bottle of the oil let me ask for an impartation miracles are just taking place everywhere lift it up I, I, I can't there are two ways to impact grace directly it's either you lay your hands on people or you breathe upon them so I can lay my hands I'll just breathe on you and ask for an impartation of that glory father there are many desiring the prophetic, the apostolic, the pastoral, and the miraculous. Right now, let the mantle fall. Let mantles, mantles, prophetic mantles, follow them. <laughs> the mighty name of Jesus. Fresh. Fresh. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name how many people you can go rise and go how many are into government you want impartation zambia you are you are wonderful people have i ministered to you okay are you ready are you ready hold your hands how many of you want to prophesy I'm going to want to walk in power. Spirit of God. I breathe upon them and I decree. Let there be an impartation. Fresh fire. Fresh mantle. Fresh grace. Patch, patch, patch. Fresh.
I decree. When I was down, you lifted me. I had no home. You gave me a shelter. People laughed, people laughed and snobbed at me. But look at me now, but look at me now. I'm a living testimony. Yes, you are longer. 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 Yes, you are Listen. Listen. How many of you in the crowd? In the crowd, you are you are an apostle. Raise your right hand. Hey, 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 hey. Don't lie. Don't lie. You are an apostle. You are an apostle. I ask for an impartation of grace and glory. Of virtue and power on your life. Freshness of fire fall upon you stay where you are are you ready are you ready touch take it 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 received a miracle alert money a miracle money while she was, she was celebrating another sister check came to she, see if it's true and she received her own she also received miracle money it's a season for zambia of breakthroughs of blessings of lifting of promotion of prosperity Zambia Zambia Lord bless Zambia Lift her up in the community of nations. Let Zambia hold a prime spot in Africa. We speak nations will come to Zambia to invest. We bless the leadership of Zambia. We bless the government of Zambia. We bless everyone in authority. We bless the churches in Zambia. Let Jesus be Lord in Zambia. Let there be progress in Zambia. We use Zambia to reach all of the Sadek nations. South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Swaziland, Namibia, Malawi. We ask in the glory of God rest upon it. A new season. A new time and moment. Wave your hands to the Lord. Wave your hands to the Lord. Oh, I can see you waving. Every one of you are lifting up your plaques. Whatever sickness is in your body is gone. Be healed. Be healed. Be free. Be healed. In the name of Jesus. The glory of God. The glory of God. The glory of God. Touch you. All of you. I just heard.
The Lord told me, there are many of you, the anointing of God is about to carry you to nations. Visas are released. God is making you a global citizen. God is giving you a voice in your nation. In that profession, you are getting to the zenith. To the apex. The glory of God is upon your life. Komba rashanda sakapila tiga. There is someone, your name is Linda. Listen, I see a place like Koti. Koti. Kitu. 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 Listen. I'm seeing somebody by the name of Linda. Hold on. I'm seeing somebody by the name of Linda. You have a husband called Alfonso. Alfonso. And he is a drunk. I'm wasting your time. Excellent God, Abba, before your throne. Omega pastors, where are you? OFM pastors, come, come, take your portion. Listen, it took me, it took me eight years to return to Zambia. And some people felt, oh, apostle has left the, his pastors. I never left them one day. The schedule got so big and so busy. Our ministry is in 65 countries now. So I, I, keep, I keep touring around 65. So I keep going around. So before it gets to the town of someone, it might take years. My father, these are my sons and daughters. I ask for an invitation. Feel them. Go and manifest. Touch fresh the name of Jesus. I bow before your throne forever you will be forever you will be. You are the lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow my knees. I gladly bow my knees to worship you alone. Now, everybody, let your twins be on your head. I want you to ask the Lord for three things that must happen in your life in three days.
I'm born again. In Jesus' name. I pray for you that you will not fail, you will not fall, you will not falter. In Jesus' name. Hear me. God gave, listen, God gave, God gave Joseph 12 miracles in 5 hours. Sorry, 5 miracles in 12 hours. And in 12 hours, he received 5 miracles. Number 1, he was brought out of prison. That was divine elevation. Number 2, the Bible said they cleaned him up and they brought him before Pharaoh. That was the anointing for acceptance. Number three, the Bible says, and Pharaoh gave him a ring. That was authority. Number four, Pharaoh gave him the daughter. That was a helper. Number five, Pharaoh put him on a horse. That was speed. In the next 12 hours, everyone under the sound of my voice, five, five miracles! <laughs> In the next 12 hours, five, five miracles. Now the Lord impresses on me. The reason I stopped that in three days, the Lord said I should say it after releasing five miracles. Three things you need, call them. If you have family members, call their own names. Ask for three things for them that must happen in three days. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Zambia, pray, pray, pray. Fire prayer.